Well, good morning. Saturday morning. It's gonna be a pretty day, and we are fixing to go explore. Oh, probably around the Costa Top, maybe up into the Washita National Forest. But we are loaded up. Got the traction boards up there just in case. And we have our airbags aired up to 15 PSI because we have a full load. Uh, the seat's packed. Of course, Remington will be back there. And then we have full load back here. We got our set power refrigerator, camping gear, you know, cooking stuff, stove, extra water, a small mini chainsaw, uh, frisbee golf frisbees. And in that bag is some gear that I have to do some reviews on that we're going to try to get some pictures while we're out. And of course I've got a jack and camera gear. So yeah, we've got a nice load. What we typically have when we go camping. The only thing I'm missing, uh, I have the SUV tent with us, but a regular tent, ground tent, I normally take. And I've got a box with a bigger chainsaw and stuff, but that normally goes up on the rack which is just gonna be empty so we're not gonna need it this time it's supposed to rain Sunday so we're not staying overnight but we do have uh, a lot to do and uh, hopefully get us a meal cooked and just enjoy today so stay tuned Hey guys, we're out in the woods and all the way from Texarkana where we live to here, we have not lost internet yet thanks to the WeBoost. We've been listening to Spotify the whole trip and we've been through several known dead spots and we continue to have signal. So that was the plus. And uh, we're just out driving gravel roads and this is a spot I thought I'd stop because it had some good pictures. You see the road way over there. You can, if you come around this way, you can see another road down there. She does see it right there. Yeah, just out enjoying the day. It's beautiful today. And we are going to carry on.
Okay, we've come to the end of this trail. It dead ends at this kind of open area. It's kind of rough. Uh, it's been underwater when the creek's higher than what it is now. But you can see we ended at a creek and this big rock cliff. Deep enough you could swim in it. Let me come back to the trail. Like I said, it's kind of rough right through there. But the two track still goes this way here. And somebody has been camping down here in the past. You'll see a fire ring up here. Looks like they forgot their kitchen tongs. And here was the fire ring. And then right here is the Running pretty, pretty good here. Goes way back around that way. Now the map shows this road to go on through, but it, it stops right here. And of course, Remington's got to get in the water, get the deep all wet. But right here, good swim hole. So we're going to carry on.
All right, we made it up that. That's a lot steeper than you think it is. I just put it in four low rock mode and just let it creep up. It didn't have no issues whatsoever. And we're going to continue on up the trail. See a road down down there. 
See a road down there? I think that's the one we're we're falling way, way down there. Another little spot we found. Out in this area, so far I've still had internet and uh, Spotify has been playing but I actually did say that hers dropped quite a bit but she thought she still had enough to like make a call or text but anyway we just stopped here for a minute stretch our legs get a little bit of video to share with y'all this would be a cool place to pull in and camp Gravel's pretty deep. Be careful so you don't get stuck. Big old rock over there. That big square one right through there. And Bigfoot's been here playing. Let's see what we got here. 
I got these here. I got that one there. Okay, hey, we're at Horse uh, Shoe Bend Park, I believe is what it's called. And we're down Dirks Lake, basically. And we're on the other side down, there's a spillway right here. And then that road there should go to Horseshoe Bend Park. So we're gonna cruise up that and see what that's like. Horseshoe Bend Park. There are a few people camped here. It says the beach is straight ahead. I think it's closed. It's beautiful here. Play equipment, exercise equipment. Looks like they have a trail, maybe. Like this is a dead end here. This must be the beach down there. So we're gonna park and go check it out. There, water running. All right, this is the parking lot to the beach area. They have restroom over there. Picnic tables, pavilions right here. Horseshoe Bend, Dirk's leg behind the spillway. So I have a feeling water gets pretty high, but you'll swim in there. Really pretty down there. Go sit in the swing this fall and look at the colors, listen to the water. Really pretty area. I don't know if I can zoom in enough, but see if you can see the flowers down there. Phone don't zoom all that far very good. All right, well, let's go check out some more area.
So this is proof that the Wee Boot Boost works. You can see that I'm playing Pokemon Go. I got away from the Jeep and went to the restroom. I had no internet. I mean, Zip. circle with the flash through it. Got out of the radius. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's definitely works. working. We had, uh, I had 5G way out in the middle of nowhere, which we're kind of out in the middle of nowhere now. But anyway. All right, we're leaving the beach area. Okay, my cord untangled here. Okay, we're, and this will be beautiful in the fall. I mean, it's beautiful now, but in the fall, colors, this will just be awesome. Very. So we come in straight ahead. We're gonna make a, a right coming from the beach area. The beach area? The beach area. <laughs> Five cars seven years ago. Here's playground area. I really just went down. Look at the little rapids thingy. It's like a raft. A little raft, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> then you have a picnic shelter. Uh, I'm not sure where that goes. This is a pretty cool campsite we're coming up to. Sticks out. You have a view of all that back there. See water down there. It's just a small campground. Your restrooms over here. Pretty big camper right there. Ooh, bump, ski bump there. That one's cool. They're kind of close together a little bit, but it's still pretty cool. that one right there is the one I'd want that mm -hmm. last one and then you're overlooking water got the trees uh, I didn't catch what number it was but it's the last one in the loop and then your clean station is right across here or dump station I mean and that's it it's just a small campground but I would definitely bring our pop up here or even a tent and camp here so we're headed out and we're gonna go back across the dam up there. And of course the spillway is here again. So we'll pick back up according when we get to the top of the spillway. Looks like I need to, if that's open, go check that out first. What's that say? So Vista. Uh, overlook Vista. Dirks Lake Vista. That's just overflow parking that way.
Okay, we just come up off the main road here. It's a loop to this lookout of Dirks Lake. Beautiful. I wanted to walk down to this wood structure over here and see exactly what it's all about. Worms are catching any fish out there. Okay, I see a cook grill. It, you can, it looks like this sign says the shelter may be reserved. Contact Jefferson Ridge Park for more information. 870-286-3214. Nice bench. You can see cars parked over there at the other boat ramp on the other side. Beautiful view from here. Nice cool breeze blowing through. Pretty big pavilion. It's got ceiling fans. There's a picnic table over there. And then there's two picnic tables over there. And of course lights. So if you want to reserve a nice place to have a gathering, this would be one of them. Spot all down here to yourself on the lake. With, look at that view. That is just killer view. All right, we're gonna continue on and do some more exploring.